Welcome back to Stuttering Sports. Today is August 3rd, 2021, and the topic for today is the Philadelphia Eagles and why they're the most unpredictable team in the NFL. There are so many question marks surrounding this roster, surrounding new head coach Nick Sirianni. There is just so much to highlight here, and that's what this video is for because, well, if the Eagles answer some of these questions and, you know, certain players can prove doubters wrong, then, well, they may be a, a playoff team. They are in the NFC East, which I think has three good teams, but no great team. They could potentially make the playoffs. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. Starting off with the biggest question mark, hands down, we all know it, it's quarterback Jalen Hurts. When he was picked during the second round of 2020, everyone was confused. I think the Eagles didn't really know what they were doing too, but then Wentz came back and well, he sucked. He was very bad. So I think that the Eagles did the right thing making Jalen Hurts the starter both both during the season and then during the offseason. Not because I'm on the Jalen Hurts hype train, not because I believe he's this franchise guy, but I believe you had to get rid of Wentz. You had to just try out Jalen Hurts and see what was happening there. And well, it worked out. You got a pretty good haul for Wentz and you gave Jalen Hurts some playing experience. It was definitely a dumpster fire with Doug Peterson, but you had to do it. It worked out. But the question still remains, is Jalen Hurts this franchise QB? Because, well, the answer right now is we have no idea. He played iffy towards the end of the regular season. He wasn't bad, but he wasn't good. He showed signs, but, you know, every QB shows signs. It's can you do it consistently, and, well, we don't know. Jalen Hurts is probably the most unpredictable QB in the NFL right now because he could be a stud or he could stink it up and Joe Flacco may have to play. Staying with the offense, with their first round pick, they they drafted Devontae Smith, which I think was a really good pick because you had to get the receiving core ready for both your team's sake because you didn't have a great one, and two for Jalen Hurts' sake because you got to surround this guy with weapons, and Devontae Smith was the best receiver still on the board. But the question mark does remain. Is Devontae Smith too small to be, a, to be an NFL wide receiver? He obviously just won the Heisman. He was phenomenal phenomenal in college, and no one is denying that. But just because you're great in college does not mean that will translate. And the most questionable receiver from the receiver bunch this year is definitely Devontae Smith because he is fast, he is shifty, and he wants to work. But he's a small guy, let's be honest here. He is the Slim Reaper for a reason. I think he will personally work out because, oh my goodness, him in college was just too absurd. But he definitely still has that question mark kind of lingering right over him. I know he's fought it his whole career so far. But, well, you're playing with the pros now. The, the, the question mark is definitely there. And, you know, sticking with the receiving cord, Jalen Rager. They picked Rager over Justin Jefferson last year. And, well, it didn't work out for him. It did not work out for them one bit. But now you have two small, fast receivers. How's that going to work out? Because you kind of have the two slot guys. How will that work with the offense? How will that work with Jalen Hurts? Does he have the throwing power to really hit these guys deep? We're going to have to see. Then, then sticking with the receiving core, Travis Fulgham, he had his time last season where he was popping off. He had that few game stretch. Right? I had him in fantasy. He was incredible, but can he sustain that now with two wide receivers there and was his drop off because of Carson Wentz and Jalen Hurts, you know, that whole dumpster fire, or was it because Travis Fulgham was kind of just a few game wonder? There's another question mark. Those are four questions about four main players, and we haven't even finished up with the offense. I'm four minutes and 30 seconds into this video. I can see how this can be boring, but let's just stick with it. The offensive line, can they stay healthy? I love the Landon Dickerson pickup. I personally think if, you know, if, you know, like, if Jason Kelsey gets hurt, I think they're in good hands. But besides that, 
Can they stay healthy? We have no idea whatsoever. Then when you look at the tight end group, the obvious main question mark is what are they going to do with Zach Ertz? Because in my opinion, it's time for Dallas Goddard to take the tight end one, like, to to take the tight end one title. In my opinion, it's that time. I have no disrespect towards Zach Ertz. He's a fine tight end, but I think it's time for Goddard to really step up and give then give Jalen Hurts that security blanket. Looking at the running backs, I don't really think there are question marks here. You know, Miles Sanders, I guess the main one with him is can he be more consistent? But, you know, that's a question that could that can be given out to, like, half of the running backs. So that's pretty unfair towards Miles Sanders. But I personally like their running back room. They got Miles Sanders with Boston Scott. That's a pretty good one, too. But you can see what I'm saying with this team being unpredictable. Because we don't know about most of these starters. We don't know if they will answer the questions that I just presented. And if they do, I think this offense is going to be really good. It is definitely still young, so it won't be great by any means, like top 10. But, you know, for the Eagles standards with a bunch of young players, I think it'll be really good just hovering around like the 15th, 14th best offense. That, to me, with that young of an offense, with that young of weapons, that is really good and exceeding my expectations. Now, transitioning to the defense. I think they did good work with the defense this offseason. They recently picked up Steven Nelson, me being a Steelers fan. I can personally say there's nothing special to him, but he's a viable starting quarterback. I mean, excuse me, cornerback. He, I mean, he's fine. Like, there's nothing wrong with him. He's a really good CB too. And, well, he is the cornerback too because you have Darius Slay, who's fantastic. And you picked up Anthony Harris, who to me... That was a really good pickup. That was that was underrated as hell. The fact that they got Anthony Harris, Darius Slay, and Steven Nelson. I know they got Darius Slay last offseason, but that's a really good threesome for the secondary. I got nothing to say about that besides, hey, good work, Eagles. And then when you look at the front four, the front seven, you got Derek Barnett, Javon Hargrave, Fletcher Cox, Brandon Graham, Ryan Kerrigan, and you picked up someone during the third round? Hey. That's pretty good to me. But it's time to talk about the third group. That is the linebacker group. And there's nothing special here whatsoever. This, yeah, this linebacker group headed by TJ, Edward, Gennard, Avery, and Eric Wilson. It's not going to be pretty this year. It's not going to be a pretty group. If you're an Eagles fan, you're going to have to rely on that pass rush the Eagles spent a lot of late round picks on those front seven guys which I'm all for hell yeah load up your defense I love when teams do that but yeah the linebacking group's gonna be interesting to say the least and to say the least it's gonna be bad the second biggest question that I have yet to pose has to do with new head coach Nick Sirianni will he gel with Jalen Hurts we must see because the first biggest question is that, is Jalen Hurts a franchise QB? We must see, that's just something that we cannot base off of what, like four games he played last year. We simply cannot base that question on such a small sample size. But a massive thing for Jalen Hurts' development is Nick Sirianni. Can he tap into Jalen Hurts as the first time being a head coach? and get the best from him we must see because this Eagles team in my opinion is the worst team in the NFC East right now but if Jalen Hurts pops off and if Devontae Smith proves his doubters wrong and if the team stays healthy this team could potentially win eight nine games and well that might be enough to sneak into the wild card it could be it just all depends on answering those questions I know I posed a lot but that just proves how unpredictable this team is heading into this season I'm personally rooting for Jalen Hurts because I like the underdog he was the second round pick people didn't really get it I'm rooting for the guy so uh yeah that's gonna do it for me today if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up want to see more stuff like this hit the subscribe button comment if you have anything to debate with me about I'll probably respond Nah, uh, yeah, thank you for watching and have a great day.